Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Worship 365. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I am rejoicing and I am glad in it. Glad to be feeling great. Glad to be full of joy. Glad to be full of strength. Something I have been diligently praying for to be a consistent um, source in my life. So I'm very grateful today just how God for God for how God has strengthened me. I pray that God is strengthening you. I pray that you are filled, full of joy. I pray that you are full of his peace. Um, I pray that his resurrecting power is res resurrecting everything dead in and around you on today. Um, I am grateful to be able to do a broadcast this morning because I'm feeling great and there's no technical difficulties and there's just no distractions, no delays, no hindrances. And I am grateful for that because when you have been fighting and you have been um, just enduring great opposition, you become very grateful for days that are wonderful, days that are peaceful. And I'm grateful today. I'm grateful today and I'd be encouraged to know what you're grateful for. I'm grateful that I can boldly enter into the throne of grace and I can ask and decree and declare according to my father's will, according to his word, whatever I need, whatever I ask for, whatever I desire, and it shall be added unto me. What are you grateful for today? What are you thanking and praising God for today? If you begin to just have a grateful and a thankful heart, just for the things that he is doing from day to day, I promise you, you will begin to see increase. You will begin to see increase in the things that he's doing because gratitude opens the door to so much more. Also, faithfulness in prayer, faithfulness in worship begins to open the floodgates in your life as well. I am a witness. I am a witness. And so this morning, I just want to share um, Psalms 5 with you this morning. It is a prayer of guidance. And I pray that it will guide you throughout the day. I pray that it will um, lead you to the things that you need um, to, to, to get to today, the things that you need to see today. I pray that God will guide you to a place of understanding, that he will guide you to a place of rest if you are in need of rest on today, that he will guide you by his Holy Spirit um, to the wisdom that you need concerning situations you may have before him, that he will guide you unto all truth um, through his word in Jesus' name. So Psalms 5 says, give ear to my words, O Lord. Or just listen, hear me, God, hear me, God, hear my prayers, hear my petition, and consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up, I will look to heaven, I will bring all of my cares my concerns, my worries, my fears, my anxieties. I will bring it all to you in the morning, Lord God. And it says in your word that you will hear me and you will direct me in the name of Jesus. It says that you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehoods. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward parts is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against you. But let all those who rejoice who put their trust in you. Hallelujah. Let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that one more time. 
Let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. With favor, you will surround her as with a shield. So I am rejoicing this morning. I am grateful <clears throat> this morning just for all that God is in my life. For just who he is, that he is ever present <clears throat> that he is faithful that he is gracious that he is loving that he is gentle I am just grateful for all of the attributes of my father this morning and that's what I want to do this morning I just want to give adoration and praise to my father for the victories that we have won this morning because victory belongs to him. I just want to give adoration and praise to God just for peace this morning and for love and for grace and for abundance this morning. <clears throat> an abundance of him, an abundance of his love, an abundance of his joy this morning. And so, Father, I just thank you and I just praise you just for who you are. <laughs> I just love you so much because you never cease to amaze me. You just woo me over and over again with your goodness and your faithfulness towards me. And I just thank you that you are that same God in the lives of the individuals who will watch this broadcast on this morning. I thank you that they are experiencing your tangible love. I thank you that they are experiencing your very present help in time of trouble. I thank you that they are experiencing your love and your faithfulness because it is new every morning. And so I just thank you for fresh manna from heaven on today. I thank you for just fresh water and fresh wind on today. I just thank you that I can come to you every day to get everything I need. I thank you that I can come to you every day and draw from that well. And I thank you that the individuals who have been faithful to watching this broadcast, that have been faithful to seeking you and seeking your presence, that they can draw from that well on today. They can drink from that water and they will never thirst again. I thank you for the healing balm of Gilead that flows in that water. And I thank you that it flows through every cell of our bodies. I thank you that your word is active and living and powerful on the inside of us. I thank you that your grace is sufficient enough for us each and every day of our lives. God, I am grateful. Father, I just thank you for traveling mercy for each and every person that's on the road this morning. There may be rain in various cities on today. I know there's rain here in Georgia. I just thank you for your protection and your angels that encamped around about us on today, God. I just thank you for grace, sufficient, all sufficient grace today. I thank you, Father, for spiritual maturity as we continue to press into your presence, as we continue to seek your face, as we continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. I thank you that you're maturing us in you, Father. I thank you that we can lay everything down at your feet. We can cast our cares and our worries at your feet because you care for us. For your yoke is easy and your burden is so light and you can have it all. You can carry it all. And so, Father, we cast our cares, we cast our crowns at your feet this morning. And we just worship you, God. We come to you with a grateful heart this morning just to say thank you. <laughs> just to say thank you, Father, just for a wonderful day. We're thanking you in advance for all the things that you're going to do. And we're praising you because you are good, God, and your mercy endures forever. You are good, God. 
and your mercy endure forever. You are good, God, and your mercy endure forever. We worship you. We lay our cares and our burdens at your feet. You are good, God, and your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. You are good. And your mercy endure forever. You are good, God. And your mercy endure forever. Thank you, Lord. Great is your mercy. Your loving kindness towards me, your tender mercies I see day after day for. Day after day, day after day. And so with a grateful heart, we just sing hallelujah. With a grateful heart, we give you praise. With a grateful heart. We bless your name, God. You are worthy. And your mercy endureth forever. With a grateful heart, we sing hallelujah. With a grateful heart, we sing your praise. With a grateful heart, your mercy is And we will lift our hands in total praise to you. Hallelujah. You are the source of our strength. And you are the strength of our life. And we will lift our hands in total praise. To you, hallelujah. You have won the victory, hallelujah. You have won. 
and death could not hold you down. Cause you are the risen King, and you're seated in majesty. You have won the victory, every victory in our homes, God. You have won, hallelujah. You have won it all for me, and death could not hold you down. <laughs> You are the risen King, and you're seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Rain down from heaven. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Rain down from heaven. God. It is. Rain down from heaven. Melodies from heaven. Melodies from heaven. Rain down from heaven. Rain down from heaven, rain down from heaven, melodies, oh God, from heaven, rain down from heaven, rain down from Rain down from heaven, melodies rain. We need you more. We need you more. We need you more. Rain down, oh God. We need you more. We need you more. Rain down from heaven, God. Rain down from heaven, God. Flood our atmospheres with your presence. Rain down from heaven, God. Even as the rain falls here in Georgia, <laughs> I call it the abundance rain. I so, so, so love the rain. I know sometimes people hate to drive in it. <laughs> and it can be so dangerous because people drive fast and they're not careful. But I plead the blood of Jesus over you this morning. I dec decree and declare that angels of mercy will encamp around about your vehicles, around the vehicles of your children, around the buses as they transport your children. In the name of Jesus. And as the abundance rain just pours even this morning, I just thank you, Lord God, that you're filling our homes, our temples with your Holy Spirit, that you're flooding us, that you're flooding our homes with your presence, that you're raining down on us. Kirk Franklin wrote a song, Melodies from Heaven Rain Down on Me. That is the kingdom song of the day. Thank you, Lord. Melodies from heaven. Y'all remember that song? Rain down on me. Yes. Rain down on me. Yeah. Melodies. Melodies from heaven. Yes, Lord. 
rain down on me, rain down on me. Yeah, that's your kingdom song of the day. Melodies from Heaven by Kirk Franklin and the family. That's an oldie but goodie. But I just believe that God is going to rain down on you right where you are today, right where you are. If you would just lift your hands even now, Father, we just thank you. <laughs> For the abundance reign in our homes right now. We thank you for an overabundance of your spirit, of your presence, of your love, of your joy, of your peace. Fill us even the more on today as we pour out on today to every person that we meet, as every person we pray for, every person we encounter. Let them feel your presence. Let them sense your presence. Rain down on me. Yes. Rain down on me. Just sing that. Rain down on me. Yes, Lord. Rain down on me. Melodies, melodies from heaven. Yes, Lord. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. Yes, Lord. Father, those individuals that are crying out, that desire to be filled with your Holy Spirit, baptized with fire on this morning. We thank you for fresh and filling of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, for raining down on them this morning, Lord God, as they cry out to you, as they worship you in spirit and in truth, as they lay their cares at your feet this morning. We thank you for your breath this morning. We thank you for your wind this morning. Blow, Holy Spirit. Spirit, we thank you, God. We thank you for fresh outpouring this morning. Fresh outpouring, tear down every stronghold. Come, Jesus, come. We need your fresh outpouring. Fresh outpouring, God. Unleash your fresh outpouring. Thank you, Lord. Release your fresh outpouring. Thank you, Lord. We need your fresh outpouring. Thank you, Lord. Fresh outpouring. raise your hands right now. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it. We need your fresh outpouring. Whatever they need this morning, God. Yes, Lord. We need your fresh outpouring. In the name of Jesus, I feel it, guys. We need your fresh outpouring. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus, fresh outpouring, tear down every stronghold. <laughs> come, Jesus, come. Yes, Lord. Ha. Breath of heaven. Come, Jesus, come. We need your fresh outpouring we need your fresh outpouring we need your fresh outpouring unleash your fresh outpouring unleash your fresh outpouring thank you lord Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it this morning. Whew. Receive it this morning. Until we overflow, God. 
until we overflow. God, until we overflow. God, we need your fresh outpouring. Tear down every stronghold. Come, Jesus, come. Yes, Lord. <laughs> We need your fresh outpouring. Oh God, yes, Lord. <laughs> Unleash your fresh outpouring. We want the wind. The wind of God to flow before us and after us everywhere we go. That his presence will just flow. It will flow everywhere we go. Fresh outpouring. Every stronghold. Come Jesus, come. We need your fresh outpouring. I just feel waves, just waves of his spirit. Oh, God, yes, waves of his presence. Oh, just waves. I just feel it. Fresh outpouring. Tear down every stronghold. <laughs> come, Jesus, come. Thank you, Lord. Come, Jesus, come. We need your fresh outpouring. Unleash your fresh outpouring. We need your fresh outpouring. Unleash your fresh outpouring. Thank you, Lord God. Before I get off the broadcast this morning, does anybody have any prayer requests or any quick testimonies they want to type and share? You know you can type and talk to me. Sometimes I'm not looking at the screen, but I really just feel led to just ask if you have any testimonies that you want to share. You can type those right now. Or if you have any prayer requests, any things you want me to pray over before we log off on today. Um, for those of you that are live, just go ahead and give me a quick text and just let me know. I can't see. Pray for Eric. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Anybody else have anything else? Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Anybody else have anything else? Thank you, Jesus. So, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, you said in your word, whatsoever we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven in the name of Jesus. So, right now in the name of Jesus, we lift up Eric. Ruffin. We call him by name. We decree and declare the blood of Jesus be applied from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus that you're breaking every stronghold, every stronghold, every stronghold, every stronghold in his life. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we silence the voice of the enemy in Jesus name. We decree and declare that he will hear your voice on today. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus that he will hear your voice. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will remove every hindrance, every stumbling block. In the name of Jesus. Eric, we speak to your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare by the blood of the lamb that you will come alive in Jesus name. We speak to the dry bones right now in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare that you will come forth. Come forth. You will live again. You will come forth in the name of Jesus. The prayers of the righteous will avail in your life in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, we speak life. We speak life. We speak deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we lift up the Owens family this morning. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare the blood of Jesus is applied over every situation, over every circumstance. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that men are coming forth. Mighty men of valor. In every family, in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare the blood of Jesus is applied from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. They will take their rightful positions. We come against strongholds in the family. Hallelujah. The Lord says, just begin to worship me right now. Just begin to tell him, thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, he said, we're two or more gathered that he's there in the midst. So we need to combine our faith this morning, right now in the name of Jesus for our families, for the men of God in our families, even over ourselves. Begin to just lay hands on your head, on your mind. You have the mind of Christ. Begin to decree and declare that I have the mind of Christ. Begin to decree and declare that my body is healed. Begin to decree and declare that my family is whole. In the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says that death and life is in the power of your tongue. So begin to speak life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Strongholds will be broken. In the name of Jesus. Fresh outpouring. Tear down every stronghold. Begin to give God praise. Come Jesus. Come. It's not enough for me to say it. You got to speak it out of your mouth. You got to decree it out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Begin to praise him. Begin to praise him in advance. Begin to clap your hands. Begin to clap your hands. Clap your hands, oh, ye gates. Oh, I heard somebody say back in the day that when you clap your hand, it pierces the eardrums of the enemy. We're going to silence his voice this morning. And we decree and declare that the men of God and our families will hear the voice of the Lord this morning. We're going to decree and declare that they hear God's voice on today. Like never before. And when they hear God's voice, we decree and declare that they will obey the voice of the Lord. They will obey the voice of the Lord. Strongholds will be broken in the name of Jesus. We will not give up. We will fight. We will stand in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're in agreement, I just need you to just say hallelujah. Go ahead and type hallelujah.